this is Creality's latest 3D printer and they call it as CR10 Smart 3D Printer. I spent some time with it and this might just be the best value 3D printer right now. I'm gonna show you how easily you can 3D print anything with this machine's intelligence and advanced feature which will give you an innovative experience of 3D printing. Hi, my name is Swemil from fmjrec.com and here is my review of the Creality CR10 Smart 3D Printer. Coming up. Boom! Yeah, let's talk about it. The very first thing you notice when you start using this 3D printer is... Good lord, this is a solid piece of equipment. Let's unbox it. It is a decent sized package and a pretty unique one. I think that's important when the brand messaging is gonna talk about a revolution. Then the unboxing experience has to be distinct. They pack every parts really well. Opening it up, first you will see a paper that shows a caution. It says they recommend to use Creality's own software and importantly, if you are using another slicing software, you have to make sure that G28 instruction under start G code is the same or settled as this. Let's do the unboxing and assembling together. Make sure you are following the steps indicated here in this user manual. I am impressed by how it feels like, very good and looks like high quality equipment. Plus this is arguably one of the advanced 3D printers that we are allowed to have. Let's turn on the machine. For this connect the power cord, turn on the main power switch behind the machine, then press and hold this switch on the right side of the machine. See it is turning on so nicely. The display in front of it is good, bright and big. Creality's interface is always easy to understand even for a beginner stepping into 3D printing magic. Intelligent Auto Leveling Like all other 3D printers, before starting printing we have to do the leveling process. 
Here with this CR10 Smart Printer along with its version 2.0 auto leveling system, you can enjoy a hustle free leveling process and instant printing after the initial auto leveling is completed. To initiate the auto leveling process, click the icon named leveling and tap on the start button. That's all, all leveling work will be done by the machine automatically. One of the reasons why it is called smart. This leveling process brings the nozzle temperature to 120 degrees Celsius and then use the nozzle to probe 16 points on the printer's bed. You can see the auto leveling process on the display. Time to take a coffee. If you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be heavenly. Built-in Wi-Fi function This CR10 Smart 3D printer support both Wi-Fi and RJ45 wired network connection. With the Creality Cloud app, you can easily slice 3D models, remote control your printer and print an object whenever and wherever just with your smartphone. I will talk more about this Creality Cloud application a bit later. It is a super cool functional and a very convenient app. On the SD card, there are some files like Creality Slicer software installation file for your computer, some pre-sliced model to test a machine, a user manual digital copy, a troubleshoot guide, and a video showing how to assemble everything. On the screen, there are four main options. Home, Prepare, Settings, Leveling. It is well organized and it is so easy to find what you are after. Ok, time to talk about the most amazing Creality Cloud app. So here is the thing with the Creality Cloud feature. Basically, Creality created something called Creality Cloud Wi-Fi box, which can be attached to pretty much any printer so that you can 3D print wirelessly through that box. But here in this CR10 Smart Printer, they have integrated this feature into the machine. This means you can print anything wirelessly. Another reason why it is called Smart. Download the Creality Cloud app directly through Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Create an account and it will walk you through how to connect the printer to the app. When that's done, it will show a lot of pre-made models that are created by other people. You can print any of those models or you can upload your own model into it. Let's choose a model and start printing it. When you hit the model, it loads into something that looks like a slicer. We can change pretty much all the settings that we want like dimension, speed, temperature and so on. Once you are done, click on slice on the top right corner. Hit print and choose CR10 from the device list and that's it. Once we give the command to print, the printer starts to prepare itself for printing. It downloads the file, adjusts the hotbed temperature and nozzle temperature and once that's done, it will start the printing process. Now we will wait. The motors are pretty much silent and we don't feel any noise from the motors while printing. Thumbs up. However, the fans are little loud and that's okay, they are not the best, but they are also definitely not the worst. You can also print through the SD card in the printer if you want to, but here I am sticking with the Creality Cloud app because it is something that is so much convenient for me. We can check the printing process through the app at any time, anywhere and if something goes wrong, we can cancel or pause the printing just with the app itself. The 
these are some of the models that I printed and the print came out pretty good. The surface finish is pretty much glossy and nice. It means they delivered what they said. So summing up, I found Creality CR10 Smart Printer as easy to install, the software is really easy to understand, the auto leveling feature is pretty good, the wireless printing is so much convenient, the Creality Cloud app is so functional and easy to use. Overall, I am happy with this printer. It's not just a great, it's straight up great. That's everything and if you like to purchase this Creality CR10 3D printer, I will leave its link in the description down below. So thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.